if you want, you can just push it in a little bit. Just make, your, make sure you're performing this slow. Okay, and then you pull it out slowly. And if they're really flexible, you can actually put, have them put both the arms underneath their backs. And then compress that way then too. Okay. Okay, next one. Arm cracker here. So compress, rotate. You can go at different angles if you need to. But the thing is, this is an endangerment site, so that's why I'm not putting a lot of pressure with my fingers or anything else in this region. So the things you really, you can also compress here with your forearm and then flex. So it's more of a compression stretch. So it's a little bit different than the regular stretches, but it's more of a compression stretch. Perform um, radial deviation. You're holding it here and bringing it towards you. So the thumb region, so this is the radial bone. So that's that. So it's stretching out the ulnar region. Or you can compress it again and push it away from you. So it's stretching out the radial region then, okay? Some people call it um, abduction of the wrist when you go this one. And some people call it adduction. So either, um, this is all the deviation, radial deviation. Okay, next one. You're going to go underneath the shoulder, right in the rhomboid in between, in between their scapula and their spine, pushing up and pushing the arm down then at the same time. Next one, you can just have them rest their hand on your shoulder, compress. And you can even have them do an active assistive, try to reach and pull up kind of thing, but I'm going to compress down at the same time. You know that? Mm -hmm. So again, in the pec region, it works wonders. Now I want your shoulder off the table here, but your hips right here. So you scoot your body over in this region. Okay, so you can compress the pec region and pull it down. Is that stretching? And you can even do a little twist if you need to. But again, they feel a little bit more comfortable if their hips are in the center of the table and their body is over here, so it's less likely to flip over the table. Okay, you can scoot that back in the middle. Okay, now with the head region. Okay, we're going to do a traction. We're going to hook our fingers underneath the suboccipital ridge here on both sides. Compress it and pull. Feel that? Mm -hmm. okay. This sometimes helps with headaches. Okay, next one, you put your hand underneath the back of the skull, one on top of the head, and just lean back this way. So it's another traction technique for that too. Another way to perform it, I don't like this as much, but some people use it, compress underneath the skull, Hold the jaw. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And again, make sure you're not putting a lot of pressure right on the neck region when you're performing that then. Okay, next technique. You can actually compress more in the TMJ region and then have them slowly open up their jaw. Okay. So you can have them do and perform the stretch a little bit too. You can also just hold down the jaw and have them try to lift it up. Okay, relax. Okay, next technique, we're going to compress here. Make sure you don't cover the ear because that's just a weird sensation. Push in the shoulder and stretch. So you're pushing in both areas. And if they're too flexible, you're going to push their shoulder down on the other side to see how much more range of motion you get just by that. Then. Next one, same kind of idea, but you're going to rotate it. You're going to push this way and push this way for the stretch. Okay, next one. You're going to compress the shoulder region like this, push it down and rotate in different directions. And if you want more of a stretch, you can lift up your forearm and stretch it out that way too. It stretches out the scaling muscles a lot, um, especially those that are considered breathing muscles or for thoracic outlet syndrome. With that, it gets a tingling in the last two fingers, so it's getting impinged there. Okay, next technique, I'm just going to flex the neck. Sometimes you can even feel this down to your mid-back, so it gets the traps all the way down. 
another very 